Hi, I'm David Lawrence, and in this video, I'm going to talk about and show you how to perform a transfer between surfaces, such as between a wheelchair and a bed with a prosthetic limb. So with the transferring a unilateral amputee with a transfer board into a wheelchair, it's kind of a bed to chair transfer, what you always want to do is focus on setup. Get the wheelchair in the right position, not on a 90 degree angle, but tip that front end in as tight as possible. Have the patient lock both those brakes, grab the chair and make sure it's solid and not moving anywhere. At that point, I just want her to turn her hips just slightly towards the chair, just a little bit like that, so she's closer to the chair and more on the right angle. Transfer board, always want to start in a position where the patient leans away slightly, and slide, notice how I took a hold of her shorts. Pull the shorts up so they don't stick on the board. And get the board underneath her residual limb and slightly under her hip, but not back all the way under her hip because as she comes forward to transfer, she doesn't want to slide off the front of the board. From this position, very easily, I want you to lean forward a little bit and just give yourself a little bit of a scoot on the board. There you go, real slow, take your time, you're in no rush. When you get to about here, stop. Now, notice how she put her hand up on this handle. That's exactly right. On the last scoot, she wants to lift up and push back into the back of the chair as best she can. If she's done that right, the transfer board is partially out from her already, so it makes it easy to get off of. So next, if we're transferring from bed to a wheelchair, the first thing you want to do is set up, get the wheelchair in the right position, the front end corner in tight as you can get it, both wheels locked, check to make sure the wheelchair is locked in position. Next is get the patient set up in the right position. Have her pivot transfer so she's turned slightly away from the chair. That's put her in a position where her hips are facing me. Second thing she wants to do is keep this foot and turn it out a little bit. Why? Because it's going to create less tension on the foot when she has to pivot to sit down. So her foot's turned out a little bit. She's facing right towards me. I have her bring her hand over onto the far armrest. This hand's going to push off here. I'm gonna grab onto a gate belt if we have it, but I much prefer to just simply get a hold of a patient's belt or onto her belt loops. Have her lean into me. I help her stand up and only stand, don't pivot transfer. Just get to this position. Once we both feel safe about that, she's simply gonna just turn her hips and down. I hold onto her all the way into the back of the chair before I release. Thanks for watching, and we hope that you found this helpful. This video is part of a series on prosthetic interventions ranging from managing the residual limb after amputation to running with a prosthesis. We encourage you to view our other videos in this series and to share them as well. You can find them on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash missiongate. To stay up to date on our latest content, click the link in the corner to subscribe and be sure to like, comment, and share this video.